Hi guys! It's hard for us to imagine how looked our planet thousands of years ago and who inhabited it. Nevertheless, every year, scientists find something new and interesting in their attempt to lift the veil of the secrets of the past, and perhaps even understand the future a little better. But it's not always an ideal process. Some objects simply bewilder archaeologists. In today's video, we're going to show you five discoveries scientists weren't able to explain. Sit back and relax, because we're going to start right now. Golden Spirals Despite the fact that archaeologists find golden objects all the time, these spirals, also known as the Golden Enigma, have puzzled scientists to this day. The thing is that in Denmark, a team of archaeologists discovered more than 2,000 mystical, tight spirals made of gold, which are at least from the Bronze Age. The precious spiral look like 0.1 millimeter thick plates made of pure gold, and some of them reach a length of up to 2 inches and weigh about 200 grams. However, their true purpose is still a mystery, and scientists just have different versions and assumptions. The sun was one of the sacred symbols of that era, and gold had a special meaning in people's lives. Perhaps some high priest wore gold bracelets on his wrists and used these spirals to decorate his clothes, and shone like the sun itself while performing sacred rituals. Alaska Artifact Of course, finding gold is pretty nice, but scientists are not treasure hunters, so they are not interested in the value of the objects they find. For example, during an excavation in a 100-year-old settlement of Eskimos in Alaska, scientists of the University of Colorado came across a strange bronze object that was, well, very similar to a buckle belt. To be honest, we hardly can imagine the ancient population of the Eskimos putting on jeans and belts with fashionable buckles. Moreover, this bizarre object was noticeably older than the house where it was found. It is also remarkable that, according to experts, the object was cast in a special form, and this is the only ancient artifact made of cast bronze found in Alaska. With the help of a radiocarbon analysis, scientists managed to establish that the leather covering the objects was made somewhere in 600 AD, but the age of the buckle itself is still a mystery. By the way, bronze was never produced in Alaska, and nobody knows where it came from. Wheel of Spirits this mysterious landmark known as Rujum El Hiri is located in a bare field in the middle of the Golan Heights. The construction consists of a large number of basaltic blocks and includes four small circles. In the very center, there's a 16-foot high pyramid made from a block of stones. The stone monument remained unnoticed for many centuries until Israeli archaeologists discovered it. According to rough estimates, the Wheel of Spirits was built around 3000 BC. This means that Rujum El Hiri appeared roughly at the same time as the famous Stonehenge in England. Today, it's still a mystery. Who built this place and what for? According to one of many theories, the Wheel of Spirits was an ancient astronomical calendar. But astronomers didn't confirm this idea, since the position of the monument is not perfect. This may indicate a lack of knowledge or lack of suitable tools. Other scientists claim that Rujum El Hiri was a tomb, although there's no evidence of this. In any case, this is one of the most mysterious places on Earth, which we still have much to learn about. Mysterious City for over 100 years since the discovery of these ancient ruins, excavations have been carried out with only one purpose, to find out what exactly destroyed the city and how its inhabitants disappeared. Mohenjo-daro was founded by one of the most ancient and most advanced civilizations of that time, which managed to survive for about three millennia. But why did this mysterious city disappear? Archaeologists are trying to find at least something that could give an answer. There are no traces of floods, fires, wars, or demolitions in Mohenjo-daro, nor was there an ancient weapon that could have destroyed the city. There was absolutely nothing there, except for one obvious fact. The reason that Mohenjo-daro was instantly emptied was a sudden and instantaneous catastrophe. But which one? It's still a mystery. Deer Figures this carved work in the form of two swimming deer is one of the most beautiful and oldest exhibits of the Stone Age. It was made from the tip of a mammoth's tusk in a period characterized by extraordinary creativity. The artists who created this figure were really like modern people and had the same mental abilities as we have today. Look, the noses of the animals are raised upwards and the horns are thrown back. Obviously, wild animals are represented as swimming. The deer are perfect from all sides. The front figure is a female, whose fur is artificially drawn and looks so natural. The male has a larger body, but without strokes. Scientists couldn't find out what this sculpture meant. However, they assumed it served as an item for communication with the other world, or a talisman for successful hunt before a long and cold winter. That's all for today. Until next time!